In this problem, we're told a railroad car of mass 2 times 10 to the 4 kilograms moving at 3 meters per second collides and couples with two coupled railroad cars, each of the same mass of a single car and moving in the same direction at 1.2 meters per second. A. What is the speed of the three coupled cars after the collision? And B. How much kinetic energy is lost in the collision? So this is what's going on before and this is what's going on after, right? So we have this car moving 3 meters per second. Its mass is 2,000 kilograms, right? And so then it's going to collide with these two cars. Right? And they have a combined mass of 4,000 kilograms, right? Because they're just the same uh, same as the one car, right? But there's two of them, so uh, 4,000, right? And these are moving at 1.2. So they're going to collide, and then after, they're going to be coupled, right? So they're going to be all together. Uh, their mass is going to be 6,000 kilograms, right? Because there's three of them, 2,000 each. And what we're trying to do is find uh, the speed, right? So the velocity of these three after they collide. So that's what we want to do for A. So how do we find it? So the way we're going to do it, is by using the laws of conservation of momentum. Basically, the momentum in the beginning has to equal the momentum at the end, right? And so momentum, which we denote by P, is mv, right? So basically, you can use the formula m1v1 plus m2v2, right? So this is the momentum of car one, right? And then this is the momentum of car two. And so it's going to be equal to the momentum of the three cars, uh, right? Which is just going to be their velocity, right? And since they're one object, they're all going to have the same velocity, right? Because keep in mind, these are two objects, so they have two different velocities, right? And then multiply by their mass, and their mass is just going to be combined, right? So I'll just say m3. So basically what we want to do is solve for v final. And so we know all the variables, all we have to do is just plug in. So m1 is the mass of car one, right? Which is 2000, multiplied by v1, which is the speed of car one, which is three, plus m2, which is the speed of car two, which is 1.2, times its mass, which is 4,000, equals V final, multiplied by the mass of the three cars at the end, right? So, which is 6,000, right? And if we divide by 6,000, you can go ahead and get the final velocity of the three cars. So, 2,000 times 3, right, plus 1.2 times 4,000, and then divide by 6,000. And when you do this, you'll get V final is 1.8. So 1.8 meters per second, that's going to be the speed of the three cars after they uh, collide, right? So V equals 1.8 meters per second, that's your answer to A. Now let's do B. So B, we're trying to find how much kinetic energy is lost in the collision. So what we want to do is calculate the kinetic energy of the two of these two cars, and then the kinetic energy of these cars, and then we're going to find the difference. So kinetic energy, 1 half mv squared, that's the formula for it. So if we want to find the kinetic energy of these two, it's just going to be 1 half mv uh, squared plus 1 half mv squared, right? Because there's two different things. There's this object and then this object. So we can just start ahead and plug in. So 1 half times the mass. And so this is going to be the first one. So its mass is 2,000 times its velocity, which is 3 squared plus 1 half times this mass, right? Which is 4,000 multiplied by 1.2 squared. So go ahead and do this, right? So plug this in. Do... 0.5 times 2,000 times 3 squared plus 0.5 times 4,000 times 1.2 squared. And when you do this, you're going to get 11880, uh, right? So keep in mind this is in joules, right? So 11,880 joules. Now let's do this one, right? So same thing, 1 half mv squared, but there's just one we have to do this time because they're all combined. So it's just 1 half times its mass, which is the three cars, so it's 6,000, times its velocity, which we just found in the last problem, 1.8 squared. So go ahead and do this 0.5 times 6,000 times 1.8 squared. And if you do that, you'll get it equals 9720 joules. So this is what it is initially. This is its final. So if we want to find how much is lost, we just subtract. So 11880 minus 9720. Plug this in, right? So 11880 minus 9720. And when you do this, you'll get 2160. So 2160, and then it's joules. So 2160 joules, that's going to be the how much kinetic energy is lost. So your answer to B, 2160 joules. Yeah, so this is B, this is A, and hopefully you found this useful.